Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level tutorial video. Today I will show you how to sync Calendly Calendar or you know Calendar from your Calendly uh, with your Go High Level. And this is a very very simple tutorial. If you want to go and if you want to try Go High Level yourself, first link in the description. You can try it. Just click it and you will get a seven day free trial from us. Uh, this is just a little present from us to you as a viewer. Now, first of all, when you want to go and when you want to connect, um, you know, go high level with Calendly, first of all, what we need is we need an email address that is connected to your Calendly. Now, if we go to Calendly right here, uh, first of all, what we need to, uh, you know, what we need to think about is which email address is connected to our Calendly and is that email address connected to a Calendly Google Calendar. So we can go here and we can edit. And as you can see here, we actually have Google Meet. Okay, that's good. And then uh, basically um, what we can do is we can see, uh, for example, workflows, okay, notifications. So what we're looking for is we're looking for integrations right here. And um, basically what we need to do is we need to check which Google Calendar right here is connected to your Calendly. Once we check that, uh, we can also go to our account settings or calendar connections here. Uh, and yeah, here we can see this is the email address that we're looking for. So this email address right here is something that we need in order to go and in order to connect and integrate with Go High Level. So let's go to Go High Level. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go to your sub account that you're currently managing and you can go here and you can go to uh, calendars right here. So you have actually calendars and here you can also see, you know, all the calendars, appointments. You also have calendar settings. For example, calendar settings, you can create a calendar if you want. For example, create a calendar and then as you can see, you can create one. This is how you can go and how you can create calendars. But we can also go to connections and we can also connect Stripe and stuff like that, but we don't want that. So we want to go to my stuff right here and we want to add an employee. So once we add an employee right here, uh, obviously we'll have to add user info, um, you know, user permissions, user roles, but here, as you can see, you have user calendar configuration. This is the, um, you know, this is the place where we will connect our Google um, Google account because that Google account is connected to our Google Calendar and that Google Calendar is connected to our Calendly. Hope that makes sense. As you can see right here, this setting is applicable with only team calendars. No Google Outlook accounts added for this team member in the current location. So what we need to do is we need to actually go to our integrations on the left side right here. And what we need to do is we need to sign in with our Google account. Now, once we sign in with our Google account right here, as you can see, uh, what we can do is we can uh, sign in with Google account right here. So let's just sign in with that same Google account. I will sign in with another Google account, but just for the sake of this video, so that you can see how this uh, looks like and how this works. Uh, as you can see, which business do you want to link in this location? You don't have any connected businesses under this account. So you need to obviously have businesses under this account, but it's connected as you can see right here. Now we can select the account uh, we can select the property if we have a property and we can also select this if we have this, but currently we do not have this as of right now. So now what you can do is you can go to your, um, you know, to your, again, my stuff on the left side. And as you can see, we can add an employee. So we can add an employee and basically this Google calendar uh, application, it needs to be uh, on your employee or on your client. So what you can do is you can go here, user calendar configuration, and you can basically add a user information here. So let's just add a user information uh, for this sake of this video. Uh, so we'll just add John Smith at gmail.com. Then we can add a phone number. Um, maybe we can, we can skip this. I'm not sure, but we can add a, um, a password here. We can add this here as well. We can add this as well here. And then we can add here pretty much anything. We can select the calendar. As you can see, this is the calendar if you want to add, but user permissions, user roles, this is a admin. And then we can have 
call and voicemail settings, user availability, and then we can save this right here. Now, once we save this, uh, as you can see, the password must be okay. Well, let's, let's just change the password. Okay, once we save this right here, as you can see, uh, we can basically save this. And right now we can go here and we can edit that particular person. If we scroll down here, you should be able to go and you should be able to basically set a, a Google Calendar. So as you can see, no Google or Outlook accounts added for this team member in the current location. So what you can do is you can go to your, again, to your integrations here. Again, as you can see, you can sign the properties right here and that is pretty much connected. So this is Google account. What we can also do is we can go right now to our staff and we can just edit right here again and we can edit the configuration right here. And you should be able to see here that you can add your uh, Google Calendar account or your Calendly account. Now, what you need to do after you have integrations all set up, in order to go and edit your account, you will need to go here to your account and then log in as that account or as that admin. Or if you're doing this for a client, then make sure your client is logged in as your client. Now, once that is in, so let's say once I log in with John Smith because I'm an admin, I can go here and I can edit. So I can go to edit and then here, as you can see to user calendar configuration, if I go here, as you can see, it says no Google or Outlook accounts added for this team member in the current location. Please ask your team member to log in through his or her account and add Google connection from his or her integration settings. So as you can see, you will need to log in as your, as for example, this John Smith in order to go and in order to go to integrations and then in order to put integrations and go to edit. And then once they go to the edit section, they will be able to go to the user calendar configuration right here. And you will be able to go and connect Calendly successfully, um, you know, to go high level. Now, obviously you can do a lot more with go high level. If you go to integrations, we can also integrate, um, you know, Google My Business. We can integrate, um, you know, Facebook accounts right here. We can also integrate QuickBooks. For example, if you want QuickBooks, uh, connected your locations, Clio account, Stripe account as well, Shopify account, TikTok account, and stuff like that. Also, uh, you know, whenever you're changing this, uh, for example, let's say we want to change something for a user, that user needs to go and log in into their account in order for us to change this for that user. So for example, if I go to my staff right here and if John Smith is not me, if John Smith is someone else, he needs to log in into his account in order for him to go and in order for him to change anything that he wants to change uh, himself. So that's why I can go here and I can log in as a John Smith, as a, you know, my own account here or any other account as you can see right here. Now we also have teams. This is if you want to have teams, we, as you can see, we have moved teams under calendar settings as groups. So you can also, uh, you know, add teams to your also uh, Calendly if you want, but this is pretty much how you can go and how you can add Calendly to, um, you know, and sync Calendly with go high level. Obviously you can do much more uh, with go high level. If you just, you know, purchase the, the full go high level package. But as far as this goes, this is the only way currently how you can connect Calendly account uh, to your Go High Level account. We needed to connect a Google Drive or Google um, Calendar account, um, and this is the only way to do it. So, obviously, if you have any questions, you can always comment down below about this particular topic. We are posting five different videos a day about technology, about Go High Level, and a lot of different things. Also, if you want uh, a go high level free seven day trial, you can go to our first link in the description and you will find a uh, go high level uh, free trial and you will be able to go here and try out uh, everything from go high level. Additionally, we are posting videos about go high level as well. So if you're interested in maybe onboarding a client or uh, maybe uh, collecting payments with invoices, syncing Calendly with, uh, you know, go high level or integrating anything else with go high level, you can also uh, see about that within our uh, comment section down below and within our videos as well. So Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next upcoming videos. Bye bye.